Grant Shapps will ban new petrol and diesel car sales by 2030 despite the EU's U-turn on phasing out combustion engine cars. Grant Shapps will ignore an EU U-turn and push forward with banning new petrol and diesel car sales by 2030, saying, we don't have to do what Europe does. Brussels 2035 ban now exempts vehicles that run exclusively on synthetic electrofuels, e-fuels, after a last-minute campaign by Germany. E-fuels are burnt in a combustion engine and release pollutants into the atmosphere. But Energy Secretary Mr. Schaps, who is announcing the next stages of the government's power revolution with Prime Minister Rishi Sunak today, said, We have set out our path which is, by 2030, the end of the sale of pure petrol and diesel. There is then a five-year transition period which we've yet to describe in detail. We will always have a look at what is developing or happening elsewhere but our policy does not change as a result. Our plan at the moment does not have an exemption for e-fuels, but there is that five-year period to deal with as well. This is not a change of policy. We are not in Europe, we don't have to do what Europe does on this stuff. We've always been more forward-leaning on this stuff than the EU. But Fair Fuel UK founder, Howard Cox, said, with other countries across Europe showing opposition to their own 2035 fossil-fueled car bans. Mr. Schapp should recognize that leading the way on this crass policy will simply be political and economic suicide. Along with their net-zero pipe dream, it's time they put common sense before a costly bankrupting green idealism. Quentin Wilson, of F campaign group Fair Charge, said the 2030 target was ambitious and achievable, but needed far-sighted policies to ensure all drivers could make the switch.